A man in Missouri gave a paper on 546 landing cases from 34 countries. These all involved traces, that is, where some marks were left after the UFO took off. One place where this happened was on the Johnson Farm in Delphos, Kansas, November 2nd, 1971. The strange marks in the middle there are a ring of soil affected by a UFO. There are a whole host of tests run on the ring. It's clear that something strange happened to the soil as far down as 14 inches deep. To give you an example of what happens to soil, the soil on the left was from that ring, obviously different in color and texture, and I might say from laboratory tests, also different in composition, from the normal soil on the right. Never mind the saucer. Did you see the guys who were driving? Does a nuclear physicist believe in little green men? Well, they're usually little. They're practically never green, whether they're men or women or both or neither, I don't know. The evidence is overwhelming that responsible, respectable earthlings, people whose testimony you'd like on your side in a court of law, have indeed on many an occasion observed not only saucers on or near the ground, but saucers accompanied by critters, humanoids, creatures, little guys, whatever you want to call them. I don't mean once or twice. The humanoid study group with a mutual UFO network, one of the world's largest groups, 5,000 plus members, I'm on the board, has collected more than 3,500 humanoid sightings. A man named Ted Phillips in Missouri has collected more than 5,000 physical trace cases from 65 countries. These are cases where the saucer is seen on or near the ground and after it leaves one finds physical changes, the equivalent of burn circles, burn rings, landing gear marks. Uh, 23%, more than a thousand of these cases involve reports of beings associated with the crap. And the world's outstanding abduction researchers Dr. Mack and several others can certainly list over a thousand cases for you of abductions involving observations of typically little guys. We'll work our way up. A little hard to get adjusted. We'll start with just a normal run-of-the-mill physical trace case. This one from Delphos, Kansas. The trace is that ring there. Ronnie Johnson, age 16, finishing his chores for the evening, was 75 feet away to the left getting ready to go in for dinner, looks up, there's a big mushroom-shaped object sitting a foot or two off the ground, about 10 feet in diameter, brilliantly glowing, so bright that he's temporarily blinded. And he's paralyzed, he literally can't move. So is his dog, so it's not psychological. He's standing there gawking at this thing when suddenly it takes off slowly, just clearing the shed that you see the shadow of here, dashes the 250 feet into the house, shouts at his parents to come and see the flying saucer that he had just seen. They laugh at him. He gets mad. You don't need to believe me. Go out and see it for yourself. They do go out and they do see it. Then he tries to convince them, and eventually successfully, to come back and look where it had landed on their farm near Delphos, Kansas. They're, to say the least, dubious. They come back here, though, and this ring of soil... Oh, well... Must be Murphy's Law here. Hmm? Is there another laser pointer in the house? Uh, anyway, you can see the dry ring of soil in the middle of this thing. And uh, his mother reaches down. The soil ring was glowing, which is a little weird. The bottom of the tree was glowing. His mother reaches down, touches the glowing ring of soil, lifts her hand up, her fingers go numb. She can't take pulses at the rest home where she works part-time as a nurse. They get a little frightened by that, and uh, they call the sheriff's office. They come out and check for radioactivity for some reason. That's what everybody worries about. Uh, believe me, there are a lot worse things in the world than radioactivity. I'll duck when the tomatoes come for that one, but uh, he doesn't find any radioactivity, the sheriff. An article appears in a local paper and about a month later, somebody sends Ted Phillips in the neighboring state of Missouri, this is Kansas, a copy of the article. Ted calls the sheriff, checks out the Johnsons, finds people, known them for years. He goes out there, didn't expect to find much. It had rained, snowed, snow had melted. Gets out there, everything is mud except for the dry ring of soil. Mud inside, mud outside, but the ring is dry. Pours water on it, runs right off. Fourteen inches down in the ring, the soil is dry compared to the soil nearby. 
He runs tests on the soil. You can see the results of those. This is a seed germination test. On the left, the ring soil won't grow anything. On the right, normal soil from a few feet, feet away grows stuff fine. He ran moisture absorption tests. That's water sitting on the ring soil. Water, not plastic, not glue, water. It won't absorb moisture. Ted sent me samples of the soil. I had good lab tests run. Ring soil on the left, normal soil on the right, obviously different in color and texture. The good lab tests show the ring soil at a higher level of soluble minerals than the normal soil. It was too salty to grow anything if you want to look at it in those terms. Does this mean the aliens dumped their garbage there? Of course not probably means that normal soil like that on the right was intensely irradiated with something like microwaves, like cooking a turkey in a microwave oven, drive off the moisture, convert insolubles to solubles. New direction for ufological research. Lab testing, something you get your mitts on. This is one, as I said, of 5,000 physical trace cases. And like 77% of those cases, it did not involve reports of creatures, critters, etc. It changed my life a lot, and that's why I don't like to talk about it. I had nightmares about it, and I, uh, like I said, I would have it whole, and they had to do it all over. I wouldn't say nothing, nobody. And I know there's very a lot of people did the same thing. I mean, kept it shut, and. And uh, there probably was 5,000 people there. You know, year, it might be more than that. It might have been 10,000 people come and see that. But now it's nothing there. You know, uh, the trees, they died off. That one tree left and it's about died off too, so. With yeah. all the recent news coming out of Congress even now investigating this, you have um, very well respected Air Force pilots and people in the intelligence agencies now coming forward and saying this is real. We're not exactly sure what they are, but this is real and it's not us. Do you feel vindicated? Do you feel like there's some type of um, redemption or vindication uh, after all these decades, you mentioned that you got made fun of, that you had to quit school because of it. Now that all this is coming out, how does that make you feel? It feels me a lot better, you know, on stuff like that. And I, you know, like I say, there's, there's a lot of people seen them. A lot of people said they seen them. And I had a lot of, a lot of, a, uh, letters and that kind of stuff and I had one a really bad letter I mean and it, it just you're nuts you know and and you, you need to be in a home you know and that kind of stuff and I didn't need that when I was 15 years old I didn't need none of that I didn't need them them people come up and and question me they quest me over and over and over and over and over and see I was lying or not, you know. And my folks should have stopped it, you know, but they didn't. And Enquirer paper come out. Now, I can't remember what year it is now, been so long. Anyway, it was a little bit after this happened and they had a deal on there. The, be the best UFO get $5,000 in the if you can prove it out of this world, you get 50,000. That time is 50,000 worth, probably worth about half a million dollars. Now, you know, and the scientists prove, I mean, one of them, the one scientist didn't say, didn't think it was out of this world. And all the rest of them did. And, uh, uh, folks got five thousand dollars out of it. I didn't get a dime. I think the Enquirer probably owes you some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. 